gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume this shouldn't be more than you can handle. Hmm? What's stopping you? Not still traumatized from your last encounter, are you? Time to go.
about the Raiden Shogun. Hmm? You mean me? Mm, perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon's familiar. What? Like the is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. Hmm? In your dreams. More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm. But I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know... A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plane of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... If stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal familiar is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Miko, you sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Time for anti Raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? If you get hit by the Muso no Hitotachi, that's it. It's game over. I would get training if I were you. Admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle. 
But when they face the Raiden Shogun herself... Considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue, they're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. Oh, goodness, is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. We can talk more back at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All of the sudden, you're entertaining guests? <sighs> Hyman's really struggling to understand how you work. Okay, we can talk here. You ask me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet, with a single-minded focus on eternity. Yes, this is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanyo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. Yes. It's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are in some form of... collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Unfortunately, Given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma. So my plan is... to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already! <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Don't move a muscle! You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest! Don't even think about trying anything. Surrender now! You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize her! Affirmative! Ah! Kujusara! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. 
Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh! Gujiai, please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. All of you outside! As you wish. Gujiai, I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. Even though she will one day... Sees your vision, too? The Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course, and I shall not question it. Huh. It's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. And your masters, the Kujo Clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo Clan... betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous. The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times, and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, I have seen and heard nothing but pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Hmm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, she will have to come with me. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. That was so scary! Paima wasn't expecting to run into Kujasara here. But, Miko, you mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go? Or... Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do, though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional. <laughs> 